It's Darren Wood here at Drink Tech 2017 and I'm talking with Paul Vandermeer on the Rexnord stand and he's going to tell me all about the company's latest innovations. Paul, tell me about what you're showcasing here at Drink Tech. Yes, uh, well Rexnord is a global supplier of power transmission components for various industries. Uh, we are also a global leader uh, for conveying technology for the beverage industry specifically and what we are uh, showcasing is uh, engineered sustainability products uh, that is a product program that helps our customers to build uh, new conveyor solutions that also not only only relate to the productivity but also the sustainable goals like uh, safety improvement energy saving and water saving opportunities yeah what we are uh, highlighting here is uh, is a new material that we have developed it's an engineered plastic specifically targeting uh, PET conveying uh, PET bottles are normally very critical mm -hmm. uh, they're difficult to convey um, and we want to, uh, to still convey it with a minimal use of lubrication or no lubrication at all. Uh, so our dry PT material has been developed uh, to create a, a continuous low friction between the bottle and the chain to ensure that the bottles will stay upright uh, even at various speeds and uh, making uh, the angles uh, to move the, uh, the bottle from one way to the other on the conveyor itself. Um, so with dry PT, we gave it a, a lime green color also to highlight the green thought mm -hmm. of, the, of the material itself. Um, and uh, when you use less lubrication in your line, less wet lubrication, you also increase the safety of your production line because wet floors are, are no longer there. People have less risk of uh, slipping. And in that way, it again relates to the engineered sustainability uh, uh, subject. In addition to that, we do not only supply the chain itself, but also the wear strip the chain runs on. Uh, the wear strip material is ULF, which is also a self-lubricating material, and it creates a continuous low friction. And when you do that, uh, you make sure that uh, you reduce the, uh, uh, the force that you need to, to drive the chain. So in that way, you also have the energy saving opportunity as well. Tell me how long research and development took um, well, on the, uh, on the dry PT material, we actually uh, we were talking about uh, a couple of years of, uh, of research, of experience uh, building up in, uh, in beta site testing. Um, yeah, we start always, let's say, internally by selecting the materials that uh, we think uh, have the best uh, chance uh, of being successful. After our internal testing program, we always make sure that for a couple of months, or maybe even longer, we test really in the field in live applications how the uh, material is performing. If we see any things we need to improve to make a maybe a reformulation and after that uh, when it's successful we say okay now we uh, have a material that can be uh, molded in our chains and so we select the chain types that are needed and then we can introduce the material to the market but with the confidence that uh, it will perform as, uh, as we want. What sets apart Rexnord from the competition do you believe? Yeah I think uh, Rexnord is a company with a long time experience uh, we always have the, uh, uh, let's say, the motivation to really help our customers. So it's not only selling the product, but giving them also uh, the support to use the product in the right way. So it means that uh, we have application engineers who are dedicated to help the customer finding the optimal conveyor construction, uh, to find the, uh, the material selection and the, the, the chain selection. And in case there are issues, for whatever reason, Rexnode will be there to support our customers and uh, not walk away from any problems that may occur. And what's in the future for Rexnord? What sort of new developments do you have coming down the pipeline? Yeah, we are uh, the latest products that we are uh, designing. Uh, we are also looking in the way from how easy is it to use the product for the customer. Uh, so it means that uh, we look at ways to uh, make the, uh, the product also easier to handle, easier to carry and also easier to install. Um, and that is an area that we are currently uh, exploiting and uh, we are uh, looking into our current designs how we can improve that to make it not only safer but also faster for people to change uh, the change on the conveyor because in the end uh, yeah if we can win time at the end user it's for them uh, a huge cost benefit in the end absolutely and we'll have more on this on foodbev.com very soon paul thank you so much you're welcome